What up, guys? Locks and Low Firearm Reviews here today. And today we're here for another episode of Firearm Instructor Reacts. So I got more videos that I'm going to play for you guys that involve firearms and people with them, uh, whether they're doing the right thing or not. So I'm going to give my take on it and hopefully we can learn something. So the first video, I'm not sure where it's coming from, but it's obviously a foreign country. Uh, it's probably somewhere in South America. And so we're going to watch this guy who clearly did not have time today. So focusing on the gentleman in the striped shirt, you see the guy walks in, pulls out the gun and the gentleman is instantly, nope, not at all. Not built for this. <laughs> the blind dates just sitting here just like, what's going on? What is going on? See, if she was smart, she would have taken his cue the moment he moment dude hit that right there right there moment dude was there if she was smart she'd be right there behind him this dude's focused on these people and so unless you're gonna play hero or do something uh it's probably a good chance good idea to do what he's doing that's funny yeah up and out and then walks off so you don't see that too often um Normally, most people will just kind of sit there um, in fear, uh, but I don't know if that was a setup. I don't think it was a setup, but dude instantly hit the, yeah, I'm, this ain't for me real, real fast. <laughs> Poor blind date. She didn't know. She was just, I just wanted to get something to eat. And next thing you know, my date left me. <laughs> All right. So on to the next one. This one is going to be again. I'm not sure where this is at, but it looks like um, from cash cards. Get up out of there. All right, ain't gonna, ain't gonna look all nice and pretty like it does on the range. Uh, gonna be pretty frantic. So you see, it looks like these guys somewhat coordinated. They came in with rifles. They knew exactly what they were looking for. Um, they had to get to it too. So then they were laying down cover fire. So these guys had some type of training. This wasn't something they just you know woke up that morning and decided to do. So, all right. Yeah, like I said, it wasn't something they just woke up that morning and decided to do. So these guys were trained. They had some training. They knew something. They had to know when the cash was getting deposited. They had to know a lot of information for this to happen. Uh, we're going to rewind it, play it again uh, if you didn't catch the beginning. But yeah, these guys knew something. This guy right here. Hold on. This man. This man was out. The moment the round started going, this man was out. Look out. <laughs> Man's was out. <laughs> he almost made it too, but he got him out of there. This guy's trying to. This guy's trying to use this thing as cover. I mean, I, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do when you're in that situation. But he gets him out of there as well. Which I can't blame him, bro. Like, hey, I'm not dying for this one. Somebody comes in. Looks like he's got an AK. Yeah, that looks like some type of AK variant weapon. Another thing you gotta think of, these are unsuppressed weapons and looks like a building. So this shit, it's gotta be loud. Those dudes with AK, their ears have got to be ringing. Even the dudes with the pistols, their ears are ringing. But I just imagine with the rifle just going off, of, you probably can't really hear too much. But, Maybe you can. Maybe your adrenaline is just pumped out hard, but I know it's loud. It sounds loud even in headphones. So. Again, not sure exactly where that's at, but as you see, these guys knew when the drop was going to happen. They knew exactly what type of weapon those guys were going to have and what type of weapons they should have. And um, they came in and executed pretty well, you know. So I'm not sure what happened to the guards. Looks like the guards got up out of there safely. And it looks like only the money was taken. So cool. All right. 
on to the next one. This one is in was in Texas. Right. I want to go back. People have got to stop doing this. All right. So he sees a high speed chase. And so what he, he basically chasing, look, he's walking to it. He's walking basically to it. And so this cop over here, you know, doing her job. This guy's right here. Now, as you can see what happens. Are oh, you hear them? Like, that's, that's a bullet passing close by, bro. All right. Shit. Giving a standing ovation over there, them boys clapping. Yeah. See, again, shots being fired. This guy, let me go back. Uh, let's see if I can get him in frame. This guy right here, hiding behind the motorcycle. That dude, the dude behind the motorcycle is somewhat smart. At least he's trying to find some type of cover or something to put between him and the bullets and not the guy with the camera standing upright, walking in the middle of a gunfight, not seeking cover. Right, he's already uh, almost been hit. Still standing up. And then the, the thing that gets me, listen, it's dumb to risk yourself to take a video. But if you're going to risk your life to take a video, at least take a good one. Like the, the camera, like all this movement, like. Hold on, nigga, they're gonna shoot me, nigga. See, like if you're gonna risk your life to take a video, bro, at least make it good. Be steady, you know, sideways so we get the full screen, zoom in so we get detail, you know. Maybe I'm ask good. a few questions. <laughs> I don't worry about shit. But you know, you're risking your life to do this, bro. Like you're walking literally right up on there. I'm not sure why. He's just ignorant to be honest. Back up! Back up! Back up! See? And here come the police yelling and screaming, get back, because there's a shooting. But, you know, do it for the vine. <laughs> so, you know, you guys don't do that. Now, if you're going to film it, film it safely, but don't risk your life. Please don't walk up on a, a, a active crime scene that just had, like, I don't, it sounded like at least 50, 60 shots went off, you know? Um, don't walk up to that and be an idiot. Get yourself shot and get or killed uh, for a video, and not even a good video at that. You know, words of advice. So, all right, guys, let's end it on a good note. How about that? A note that's gonna something that's gonna make us all smile. And all right, so backstory to this if i can pull it up real quick so these gentlemen over here these young kings um i guess they were being searched or the police were searching the building for some reason um saw them and you know saw they had firearms I'm trying to pull up the information right now as we speak <clears throat> so they had firearms and you know of course searched them and then they proceeded to give them back because you know we roll legal around here all right what does it say okay it doesn't say anything awesome let's just watch the video so the police officers are giving back these gentlemen's firearms and you're gonna hear them say something we all like to hear it needs to happen more often because because the stigma of black of black people, African Americans, and firearms is automatically that we're criminals, thugs, gangsters. We're doing something wrong. Uh, we need the police called immediately. We need to have our we need a background check immediately by any and everybody, you know, to verify that we are in the rights our our American rights. So back to the video. Did y'all take bullets too? I, I would. I'm just asking. We're not taking the guns. The, only, the, the, the guns have been made safe. They've been unloaded. They've been cleared. They've been checked. None of them are stolen. Mm. Say that again, sir. Any of the 
Mm, I like that. You know, you know, you know, I like that. It's like, that's, that's what we like to see, ladies and gentlemen. None of the guns are stolen because we roll legal around here. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. You're right. I like that. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right now. Okay. Okay. All right. Go on. Think about your environment, guys. Right, he said, think about your environment, guys. As long as they're rolling legal, they good. Doesn't really matter about the environment. I mean, granted, yes, you know, watch your environment, you want to be safe. But, you know, if you're legal, you're legal. So, all right. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Firearm Instructor Reacts. Um, you know, if you want to send me videos, um, please do so. Um, you know, follow me on my Instagram page and you can send me videos there and I can review those videos. Um, top of that, we're looking for firearms training. I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I do CCW classes as well. So if you're looking for your license to carry and you yourself be legal, hit me up. Uh, I do travel. I can uh, do these classes outside of Jacksonville and outside the state. You just need at least six people or more for me to you know travel. If you're looking for firearms, gear, guns, ammo, body armor, Helmets, battle belts, boots, pants, gloves, cuffs, batons, uh, already said plate carriers, all that stuff, everything two way firearm related. Uh, follow my Patreon page and I will have deals and everything there. Um, like right now, I'm having a AR 15 and a 9mm pistol sale for all for under $1,000. I believe it's under $900, but it's well under $1,000 and it's only on the Patreon page. I also have one with the AK. So if you like AKs, there's an AK with a 9mm pistol option, again, under $1,000. They even have, I have an AR-15 with a 5.7 pistol, if you like 5.7s, um, again, under $1,000. You're only going to find this on the Patreon page, so, you know, sign up. It's only a dollar a month, y'all. Um, top of that, I want to thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, share with a friend. Top of that, stay dangerous. Locks load up.